Okay, so this is the Heritage Tree Farm. We got those out there. Those out there. There's no snow in Wisconsin. It's um, dirt, but we have to get our tree. We can't wait any longer. But it's really nice. Look there, my husband's got a t-shirt on. Okay, well, I better help them choose a tree. My job is to hassle them the whole time and tell them I want the quickest, easiest tree. Oops, I almost fell in the dirt. <laughs> All right. Well, I took you to the tree farm, you guys. Yeah. There's the main building. We're uh, marking this one. This is the one we're liking right now. I, you know what, I'm very flexible. I'll pretty much take any of the trees. But that's one we're saving. I'd even take a cute little one. There's a lot of people out in the woods today. One of my hats out here. Pine cones never fell off. Oh, there's my husband talking about pine cones in the trees. I thought you would see how nice it is. It is beautiful. This is probably the best season, I think, to go. No snow and it's not cold. You just have a coat and a hat. Very nice. But we have our tree. Uh, Flynn is going to saw it. He's going to be the sawer. He's wearing one of my hats. He's wearing a beard hat. And Maddie's wearing one of my hats. Jaren and Brandon don't even have coats. All right. Um, maybe I'll take a picture of the indoor decoration. They have decorations and a campfire up at the main building. Okay, well, I'm back home now. I'm still wearing a hat because I have terrible hat head. Um, this is another hat I made. I think I'm going to keep this one. I was going to take all my leftover hats to um, a place called Father Cars. Um, but I might actually keep this one and the one I wore at the Christmas tree farm. I'm probably going to donate that one. Okay, so here is the blanket all caught up. This is day seven. A lot of front post double crochet. And then, um, so that's what it's looking like. The blanket so far, or the afghan or whatever it is you call it. Let's see what color we get for day eight. I need to get that done today. And I'm hoping to get this video up before it's too dark. Okay, today, that's a really nice color. Uh, no reading glasses, so I can't read it. And then, this actually looks like it's gonna be a handy tool. I wish they would've given me this on day one. Ah, oh, Nutter Butters. Flinny, can you reach me that yarn I dropped on the floor? I think, look at this, you guys. It's like a little bag, it matches. I wonder if I can, uh, and there's a hole in it. Tell them about the Lisa and USA thing. I am going to. I need to find that bag, Flynn. Can you look in the truck so I can tell them about it in the front? Okay, so, but I think this, you're supposed to put the yarn in here and then pull it out through the top. And um, I'm trying to get it in here. Because I'll tell you what, I've had, I don't know, I'm forcing it in, so I don't know if that's what's supposed to be. I've had the worst time with these little skeins of yarn flopping all over the place. Yeah, so I'm gonna try that with this color. See what we're gonna get to do for day eight. I am caught up. I almost wanna pre-record day nine and get it done today. So I can stay on top of it because I know once the school week starts, it's gonna be hard. Now, um, this coming week, it's gonna be a little bit of a busier week. Um, the first thing that we have going on is my husband has a surgical procedure that he needs me to take off school so I have to take a day off to drive him to and from this appointment which means the rest of the day I have off which is very very hard for a teacher I have to make sub plans at least I'm not sick doing it and then um my second grade Christmas concert is this week pre-k through two so hopefully I don't get too far behind I'm 100 percent using this as a yarn holder for this next row. I'll let you guys know tomorrow Whoa, how well that goes. Okay, so <clears throat> you're seeing this part after I walked you all through the Christmas tree farm. And I took a picture of a barn and inside it, it's like a little cute craftsy thing. Um, they're selling like old Avon decorations, old decorations throughout the years. I don't know where they got some of them, but a lot of them have been made. And Maddie and I were walking around while the guys, Flynn actually was the one who cut the Christmas tree down this year. 
and I was waiting for the, you know, trim off the branches, get the tree wrapped up in a bag and all that jazz. And Maddie and I went right into the barn to look at the ornaments because we always like to buy one Christmas ornament. Um, and we saw these snowflakes on it. And Maddie's like, I wonder why they put a name on it. It looked like it had the name Lisa on it. I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. She's like, oh, I'm gonna take a picture for my friend because her friend's grandma's name is Lisa. And which isn't that wild? Like Lisa was a name that was kind of popular when I was in school and I can't even believe that there's grandmas named Lisa now. But anyway, um, and we looked on the tree and there were all these snowflakes that had Lisa on them. And that just seemed wild. And uh, Flynn came in and we're like, oh, look at these ornaments. And Flynn's like, they don't say Lisa. It says USA. It's, do you see that? Is that not hilarious? Is it backwards for you guys? I don't know, are you guys seeing things backwards? It would, it would be. Oh. It would appear as ASU. Oh, well, anyway, the way she wrote it, that looks like the L-I-S-A, Lisa. So then, of course, we had to buy it. But now that I'm looking at it and seeing that this are red and blue, it's clearly USA. Uh, who knew our Christmas tree farm was so patriotic? So, Matt, we had to have this as our ornament this year just to remind us of that funny story, how Maddie and I thought they all said Lisa. And Flynn and Jaren and Brandon are all like, USA. I guess you had to be there. I don't know. Are any of you laughing at that? All right, you guys. That's it for this vlog. Day eight. Got a little tree, a little Christmas ornament. Um, it will be a busy week. But I think we can get it all done this week. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. Um, I'm going to get to work on my blanket. Get day eight done. All right, thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.